everyone. Welcome to day five of our Vlogmas here at The Loving Path. Thanks for coming back and joining us. We are loving so much doing this, aren't we? We're loving the yarn. We're loving the yarn. We're, we're loving, loving your the, comments. And we're loving Luke. Luke. We're loving your comments. Pesky Luke. Our friend Luke, who's leaving comments after all our videos, being super silly the way that we love him to be. Yes, and <laughs> and we are also loving the bees. Oh, the bees. We love the bees. We love the bees. <laughs> we do. So today's day five of Advent and Vlogmas. And we woke up this morning. It's been really dark here. Dark and rainy and gray, but very, very mild. So normally December 5th, it would be like zero-ish at least, if not below snow usually, but it's 11 degrees today, which is crazy. And it was a little wet and Isaac and I went for a walk this morning and um, There's been it no felt, snow. This, yeah, we've had one little sprinkle of snow um, back in November and it felt very much today like the UK when we'd walk around the yes. UK and it would be kind of damp and misty and mild and then it made our hearts long for the UK didn't it? Mm -hmm. We had so much fun last year during our trip there. Anyway, do you want to start off with what yeah, you woke up to this morning? What I woke up to? What do you woke it up to? It took me a little while to get the the strength to go up there, but when I did, there's the strength to go up there. Was to the piano, I was kind of. It's like so. Here's the couch right here, and here's the piano. I was kind of groggy. It's like six feet. I was kind of groggy. Yeah, you, you were know. tired. You were I just waking tired. up. So I kept telling myself, "You have to go. You have to go," and then I didn't go. So then I forced myself to get up, and mm -hmm. I went. What'd you get? Number five. Number five. I would have preferred it if you said three plus two. Oh, you know what? I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> but number five. So a today's a very busy day for us. Go ahead. Sorry, so, I was trying to pre, pre, I don't know, pre something that. Oh, I like the. I, I noticed the deeper writing than usual. Preface. Preface. <laughs> I was trying to preface that with. Go for a lovely walk in the village, and that we did. We did. We ran into my. Uh, a music teacher that I had for Oklahoma. So your, she was a musical director. Local constructor. Yeah, musical director for Oklahoma. Not original teacher, kids. No, she wasn't a teacher, but she does teach music. She, she does. does teach voice lessons. She does. She's a voice teacher. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, so today's a busy day. Isaac has piano lessons at two thirty. It's currently one thirty. Piano lessons at no, two thirty. Twelve thirty. My bad. Yeah, that would be really rush if you're doing it this at 1.30. Yeah. Because um, we have to leave at 1.30. Um, piano lessons at 2.30 and then swimming lessons at 3.30. So we basically go from piano right to swimming and then we come home. But we're having a friend come over tonight. Our friend Jen is coming Jen. over to pick up some uh, yarn that I dyed for her. A uh, pre-order of my Candy Cane Mishap colorway, which was a Christmas colorway that I did. And she's, she's coming for dinner. And tea. And tea. And we're going to just hang out and knit and visit for a bit. Yeah, that'll be fun. So um, we're excited about that. So it's just we a busy are. day. So we didn't do a big Advent thing today because I knew we wouldn't have time to also do something bigger. So a walk through the village is always really nice. And because since Isaac's gotten older, we haven't gotten out as often. No. All the stuff that he's involved in really requires that we drive, yeah? Yeah. So we don't get out, when he was wee, we'd like walk all the time. We'd always walk into the village. But now that you're big, we have to drive everywhere. So I thought that he would like that. So we have a very favorite cafe in the village called the Black Walnut the Cafe. Black Walnut. And I have put pictures in um, of our walk into the village and a little bit of our entrance into the, into the cafe. They've got beautiful, beautiful treats. They do. Isaac often, get almost always gets Pie of the day. Pie of the day. Or tart of the day. Or tart of the day. And they have an incredible white cheddar and cranberry scone that I just love. I've never tasted scones like theirs. They're just so light and airy and fluffy and so good. So we did that and then we walked home. Yes, we did. And but then what did we, what did we find out when we got home? Ooh! Exciting casting news. from my homeschooling theater. At the palace. Yeah. Is, uh, Sorry, I have an itch. Um, 
it's come out. Yeah, it's come out. So, so Isaac's in homeschool theater on Wednesday mornings, and as well as his original kids theater. And not Wednesday mornings, though. No, that's whenever it is, right? Whenever we find out, we should find out soon. And so we got casting list today, and this play is called The Mysterious Case of the Missing Ring, and it's about um, a queen whose ring, royal ring, goes missing, and she hires this, all these characters to try and find for her, and I think it's it's a comedy, so there, you know, you can imagine quite the mix of characters that are trying to find this ring, and so Isaac was cast as the lead detective, the English detective, because when he did his, his audition, he did it in his British accent, which is quite good. And, and um, so they, he's the English detective. And my best friend actually got cast as the sidekick. One of your best friends. One of my yeah, best yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. Landon friend. got cast as the sidekick. And so we read through the script, and it's hysterical. The two of them just playing off each other, and Landon calling you boss, boss, and doing super silly <laughs> things. Like, I don't think he's supposed to be the smartest person. No. <laughs> and or Isaac they, is I like... Say, so, one time I say, we have to solve the case. But because he rushed and he tripped over the suitcase and says, oh, I'm on the case... I'm on the case, and he's like, not that case. It's, it's just silly it's, it's humor. Funny. Very funny. Perfect for and kids. he calls me boss. Got I like boss. that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that this morning. And, um, <coughs> yeah, we just kind of been hanging out. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Um, so because Advent wasn't a super... Big. Eventful thing today for us, just nice little stroll, um, we decided to share with you some of our favorite holiday books. So since Isaac was small, we've collected holiday books because it's it's nice to have an assortment. And when he was little, I mean, always, we've always read to you since you were about two months old. Mm -hmm. We've read to you. And so picture books we would get and all these different kinds of books that kind of embody the spirit of Christmas versus obviously a consumerism or consumeristic type idea of Christmas. Mm -hmm. Just a nice a spirit, right? That's what we kind of like. Yes. So. We've got a few different books, and we can't read them all, but we can show them, and then people can look for them. Yes, this one it's is one of my called, favorites. This is mm -hmm. this one is called the Snow Tree, and it is, it is by Caroline Repchuk. And I will just show you a little bit. Oh, look at you drew in that one. I drew. The pictures are textured. Not that you could probably. Oh my goodness, that's awful. I bet you could tell, but they're textured, and so basically this story is about. Um, a little black bear who has woke and the world is white around him. With snow. With snow, yes. And um, he cried out for his friends because he'd never seen such a wintry world before because he was just a cub. And the wind only answered with silence. So then his friends start to come out. Lynx comes out and brings him some golden leaves. Don't do them I know. all. I know I won't. And then Squirrel came um, and gave, him some, and gave him some berries to remind him of fruits and flowers. Fruits and flowers from the forest. And Blue Jay came with feathers. Last one. Blue Jay came Okay, so all these different animals come. Yes, they come. Um, little Bunting came down with some pine cones. And then at the end, they all take their treasures to make. And turn to the last page. Last of all, Moose came with a bright golden star hanging around his neck. And they and with all their treasures, they decorate this beautiful tree. And and he said, a bright golden K, he said, set the star high upon the tree, he proclaimed. Let its light shine out to all the creatures of the forest that they may gather to celebrate the glory of, the, of nature and the beauty of peace and friendship this Christmas time. Little Bear smiled as he stood gazing at the glorious tree. The colors were back. I don't know why it makes me want to cry. It's so pretty. And just the, the illustrations are gorgeous. I don't know, because you know me. I cried everything. I love it. It's just the sentiment. Oh, Amethyst from the Reindeer. Okay, don't tell okay, me. Okay, I could. I should have just read it to you. It's so beautiful. That's one of our favorites. Okay, let's move on. So what else? Read them I won't read any more. The Bearer of Gifts, which is very it. sweet, by Kenneth Stephen. I think it's a little take on the Christmas story, but not quite. Um, it is um, about an old man that is fetching water, and there's a star, the North Star. Yeah. And he follows it, and he finds a town, and he made wooden carvings. He was a carving man. He made carvings, and then he, um, all he had was 
one star, and I think it was that he gave it to baby Jesus, I think is the idea of the mm -hmm. story. And then that transformed him into Santa. He just started off giving everybody oh. little carvings because they gave him food and he had no money, so he gave them his carvings. Right. And then, I like this book. So it's not really a, the Christmas not. story, but it's kind of like this take on um, a Christmas story that like Christmas. resembles the Christmas story a little bit and also resembles the becoming of Santa. It's very, very sweet. And we like it. Yeah, it's really nice. And then this one you most definitely, and this one you heard of, it's a Charlie, Charlie Brown, Brown Christmas. Christmas. So that one's great. You know I voted, yep. I'm pretty sure. They most people like know Charlie Brown Christmas. Yep. And then, this one's not really a it's Christmas, Christmas. This is winter, winter wait. This is waits. just about winter. Yeah, but this is actually Lynn Plored, and her books, I think they're mostly out of print now. We have the whole um, she only wrote, series. She only wrote four? This, there was Spring. Spring, Sprung. Spring, Sprung. And summer. Vacation. Vacation. And then. Autumn, Child. Wild Child. Wild Child. And Winter Waits. And I think Wild Child was the first one we got, and our friends gifted it to us for Isaac. Because he's a bit of a wild child. And they're just beautiful. And so they're the seasons personified and they show them how they kind of come out of one season and that season hands it over to the next season and how that kind of takes place. It's cute. And then how the, at the end, that season is kind of drifting off to sleep and handing it over to this next season. And it's very, very sweet. It's yeah, cute. they're great books. They like that. But this one is this one's Christmas. Christmas. So Charles, Charles Dickens, Dickens, A Christmas Carol. We love Charles Dickens. Which we love. It comes in this great little. Yeah, oh, we've read this. So many times over the years right I think I first read to you when you were six and I laughed so hard like most six year six year olds aren't a fan of Dickens but Isaac loved Dickens from the beginning I did. he laughed and laughed and laughed and understood all the language in fact sometimes I had to go back and reread a sentence a couple times because you know it's not how we talk now and Isaac would explain to me what it meant because he's really smart and very good with language and I was like wait a second he's like oh they're just trying to say this and I was like Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so that's a favorite. And we meant to read this starting December 1st, but we've been busy. We have. So we might... only five chapters. Maybe we will start reading that tonight. Maybe. I like it. It's Again. a great book. You've read it on your own as well, right? Apart the from me. Thing? I don't know. Maybe. No. Not the whole thing? You but haven't read the whole I thing on your own? I still like it a lot. Yeah, but you've read parts of it on your own after we read it. So good. Okay. And this is my... Do the, do the bottom one. Not the bottom one. Yeah. Man, <laughs> it is Christmas. Super cute. That's a Christmas one. So it's like a stick, and oh, it's, I don't know. It's just a little rhymy book. One day he wakes early and goes for a jog. Stick man, oh stick man, beware of the dog. Dog grabs the stick. A stick barks the dog. An excellent stick. The right kind of stick for my favorite trick. What happens? I'll fetch it. I'll drop it and fetch it, and then I'll drop it and fetch it and drop it again. That sounds painful. I'm not a stick. What, why can't you see? I'm stick man. I'm stick man. I'm stick man. That's me. I want to go home to my family tree. It's and then cute. it goes on about all these things and people find the stick and they're doing all these different things with him that you would do with a stick. Anyway, eventually he makes it home to his family. And they spend Christmas together. And they spend Christmas together. It's very cute. Okay. We like it. Next, my very favorite ever. Not necessarily a Christmas story but I always consider Little Women a Christmas story it's my favorite book probably ever of all time of and all time. of all time that's saying More something than Harry Potter oh I don't know that's a pretty tough call Harry Potter is my favorite series but this is my favorite book okay. and there are other books in this she wrote other books but in that series? Um, yeah there's Joe's Boys and, and there's some other ones but this I don't know the Christmas scenes in this just bring me to tears every time, especially the movie with Winona Ryder and Claire Danes. I just bawl and bawl. We watched it a couple years ago, and you weren't sure you'd like it, and then you sat there and you snuggled into me all nice and close, and you're like, Mommy, this is a really good movie. <laughs> and I said, yeah, it really is. I was, I it's was... kind of time I think I would have liked to live in, not maybe not with the women's rights, the way they were, and things like that, or, or lack Scarlet of women's Fever. rights, or Scarlet Fever, or <laughs> things like that, but I just love the coziness of their family and you may not want to put your feet up there honey. Right. and their um 
how they're cared for by their mother and oh I just it touches you as a mother it does touch me as a mother but it touches touched me as a child as well you read it when you were a child I read it in high school I think was the oh. first time I read it early high school love it. I do you love it. and Lori and I was always Joe you know like that Joe. was that I was that girl just the kind of one who didn't really fit in and was doing things differently and always felt like I couldn't find my place and then I became a mom and I found my place and that was good with me <laughs> with you okay so this is the one we're going to start to read this year it's called a boy called a boy Christmas. called Christmas and we got it last year before we went away but we didn't end up um having any time to read it before we left and we came back and it was the end of January so we're going to start that um quite soon and it is about an 11 year old boy Nicholas nicknamed Christmas and he's received only one toy in his life, a doll carved out of a turnip. Oh. Still, he tries hard to believe in the happiness living with his father in the second smallest cottage in all of Finland. Then one day his father goes missing and Nicholas must travel to the North Pole to save him. And then lots of adventures happen on the way. And um, it says it's sparkling with wit and warmth. A Boy Called Christmas is a cheeky new Christmas classic in the making from acclaimed author Matt Haig and illustrator Chris Mould. Mold. 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 So we're going to start that. Mold. So those are a few ideas for you if you're looking for Christmas books for your little ones or medium sized ones or even just for the child at heart. It's nice to have them, isn't it? Shall we move on to your advent? Sure. Is that what you want to do? Yes. Shall you're excited. Should like We couldn't them? even finish that segment without you kind of being like, let's go, let's go. Should I tell them who it's from? Yeah. They. What if they don't know? No, I'm just saying, should I do it? Yeah, yeah, yes. go crazy. Go nuts. So this is from the lovely bee ladies of Bumblebee Acres Farm. Yep. And we love the bees. <laughs> yep, we do. And, and what are we doing? So we'll just do a, we're not going to recap. No. But here's our first four skeins in the order. So starting with the pink. These are our first four that we've got. So pretty. And today's day five. I see that you're opening it without my um, help. Yeah, I'm good at that. I tell you, next year, there's going to be no envelopes. There's going to be no fun little things to do every day. It's going to be a yarn advent calendar for you, my friend. Yeah, that makes me happy. <laughs> I love that. It makes me happy that it makes you happy. Let me just see if I can get I think it's right. every knitting mama's dream that her child wants. A knitting, a yarn advent calendar for Christmas. Even a couple years ago, he got me yarn for Christmas, and as I opened it, he said, hold on, you gotta wait. As he, I opened it, he said to me, with a sweet little look on his face, he said, is there enough there for a sweater for me? And I was like, oh my goodness. And then I did, there I, wasn't, I, he only got one skein, so we went back and got another one, and we made you a flax light in that beautiful blue. When I asked, should wear that tomorrow on the podcast. We will. Yeah. When I asked my dad, though, I said, I'm gonna ask mommy if I, she'll make me a sweater, and he said... You don't ask people to make you things out of the gifts you give them. And I said, but she won't mind. No, and I didn't. I was so touched that you wanted a sweater, a hand-knit sweater, and that you bought me the yarn to make it. That was very, very sweet. Mwah. Yeah. So we're Okay, so are we going excited. to open it? Oh, no, don't, don't, take, don't take the fire. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, because, yeah, it's garbage. Okay, I can do it. I can I split the tape. No, I know how I do it. I know how I do it. It's a competition. I'll do this part. You do that part. You need your own. I want my own. I know you do. So I could open both of them. Well, well you we have to get them from either different people or different or different advent calendars from the movie acres, yes. right? Okay. You have to open it like this. Yeah, I probably end up loving yours. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, you have to open yeah. it towards the camera. There you go. Can you watch the camera and see what it looks like. What is that? Oh. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Gorgeous. But can you maintain the streak, bees? Okay, let's put it up close so they can see it before we know what it is. Let's guess. Could oh, that be the mentor? I saw the word the. So it has to be the something. Okay, so what do we think it is? Basilisk, maybe? Purple and that gold and silver. silver and Oh, I love that. Could it be that. No, Dementor? <gasps> oh, Buckbeak. No, Buckbeak wasn't purple. Buckbeak. Yeah, but it's interpretation. Okay, shall I okay, look? Okay, yeah, you have to look. I want to, let me have to look no, together. No, no, I want to look. I want to be the one to look. The... <gasps> oh. Oh. Um, 
Yeah, you've done it, bees. The three broomsticks. We're like, we think you know what we're thinking, but you don't. That's the three broomsticks. What? That's awesome. But I like it. I think it's good. I think it's good. I think it's great. Oh, is that the pub restaurant? It's the pub. Oh, the one where Harry snuck into? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is the three broomsticks, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. That is good. I like and that. And so it lot. matches so lovely with the uh, oh, yeah, butter but, beer. Yeah, I forgot butter beer came before. Let's go like and they're, like you said, they're blending into each other. Yeah. So the pink went into the pink, which went into the yellow, went into the yellow, and then that went into the goalie, and then that Yeah, so that if you hold one, them all up. They're all going into each other. And they're meant to the, blend, so when you make that beautiful shawl that they sent, the or the wrap that they sent the pattern for, are you going they're to? all going to, I, I might, I haven't decided. Cover my face. Very lovely. Great job. All right. Great job. Thank you. Bumblebee Acres, that's beautiful. I love that one so much. Um, so with that, I think we're going to end off. Thank you so much for joining us today mm -hmm. for day five of our Vlogmas. And we will be here tomorrow with day six. Until then, we hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye.